So what's going on guys, Moran here, and welcome to today's video. I'm excited to share this one with you guys, and I'm excited to start documenting the next three weeks, because in today's video, you're gonna see footage that is over a period of three weeks, which are the next three weeks to come by the time I'm recording this. I'm doing a mini cut, which means I'm gonna try and lose as much fat as I possibly can over the course of three weeks. And I'm compile all that footage into a vlog for you guys, and that is this video. So if you're excited to see this whole journey, me taking you through everything, how I approach my diet, my training, etc., then make sure to give this video a thumbs up already, and let's get it rolling. Yesterday was the first day of this mini cut and I weighed in at 91 kilos. Uh, today I already dropped uh, over half a kilo, which is something that is not uncommon when you start cutting uh, because you make a big drop in water weight, right? Because you were eating much more calories before when you did a lean bulk. And then at least in this case, I'm dropping pretty severely because I'm doing a mini cut. It's only a very short period of time, which means I can also lower my calories a bit further than I normally would during a regular cutting phase, which might take like 10 to 12 to even 16 weeks. This is only three weeks, so it's short but aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> aggressive mini cuts. Now workout routine I'm following during this mini cut is a leg push routine. I share this free routine as well on my YouTube channel, so make sure to watch a couple videos back. You can download it for free and try it out yourself as well. Now the routine I'm following myself is a slightly altered version of that routine. Hey right, guys, cooking up some food here. And at the same time, just got a package in. This one is exciting. Boom. It's the Ziyun Weebill S. Saw a lot of good reviews on it, so um, I'm gonna give this a go and I'll see if we can create some cool footage. So today it is Wednesday and uh, last night we got some very good news. So today uh, I couldn't be in a better mood and that is that the gyms will stay open, you know, at least for now here in the Netherlands. I know that the gyms are closed in a lot of countries where you guys live. I know that like Germany um, and Belgium, so the surrounding countries here, gyms are closed um, and I think in many more countries. So comment down below where you are from and if gyms are still open uh, wherever you live. But um, I couldn't be more happy, man. This is really the thing that right now it keeps me going and it keeps me, keeps me like, literally mentally okay you know because um i come from a pretty like tough time um in my life the last year or a little bit more even and um covid is not really helping as far as feeling mentally great um i think for a lot of people so um for me it has been a really good time i have to say but if gyms would close down and like if there would be a full lockdown etc um obviously life gets much more difficult um the gym really is a place where you can get all this aggression out all this it just really fuels you at least for me so it um, really keeps me going right now and obviously helps me create content as well because otherwise um, I can just st still do homework etc but I just love the freaking gym man let's just keep it at that so I am beyond happy right now so cardio is gonna be three times a week for now and I'm gonna have to do cardio outside because at the gym guys there are like time slots because of COVID now within that hour I want to lift weights and that weight session takes an hour and I already have to shorten it a little bit because normally it'll be like an hour and 15 minutes so normally I would do a combination of high intensity interval training and like list cardio low intensity steady state cardio um, so for high intensity there will be like sprinting or uh, like the battle ropes uh, but now I'm not gonna do the battle ropes in the gym and sprinting is not possible because I'm actually recovering from a hamstring injury uh, so this is why my leg workouts also are a little bit different right now at the moment which I'm definitely gonna show you guys as well um, but it's, it's definitely recovering I was just doing a little bit of jog and it felt good for the first time so I'm happy about that not gonna do sprints yet because that is too taxing on my hamstring um, so maybe later but probably not for this mini cut Today is 
day number four and my weight has dropped pretty drastically compared to yesterday. Um, Cause yesterday my weight was 90.8 uh, kgs and today was 89.2 kgs, right? So that's a pretty big drop. It's like one and a half kgs overnight. Um, so that's obviously a big difference. However, I did sleep a bit longer than I normally do. And I feel like I had my last meal uh, pretty early last night. So it's just been a lot of hours, right? Um, I do intermittent fasting, which means I fast for 16 hours a day. I eat all my food within an eight hour time range. I've talked about this many times on my channel. And so that's what I started to do again uh, right now that I'm cutting body fat. So um, I do enjoy that, but I feel like this morning right now, I am super hungry and last night I was already very hungry. So I um, actually went to sleep with a slight bit of hunger. Uh, what I did, what I realized last night uh, was that I didn't drink enough water yesterday. And like in general, last couple of days, I haven't been drinking a lot of water, which is something I normally always do uh, when I'm trying to lose body fat. I do in general, like if you're into the fitness lifestyle, uh, when I'm trying to gain weight at some point, I just drink like a good amount of water, but not a crazy amount of water. And that's sometimes what you got to do uh, when you're cutting in order to really deal with that hunger because I'm feeling that hunger right now happening. So um, it's going to get a lot tougher than this. So I'm just getting mentally ready, man. This is just a start. So when I wake up, I just directly down one glass of water. And over the next couple hours, I'll just have some black coffee. Well, not some, probably too many cups of it. It keeps me going. Today, another 25 minute run, steady pace. And that is it as far as the workout today, because after this, I'm going to eat and then I head to the physical therapist. So that was a pretty tough run. My cardio performance is not that on point yet. Got to work on it. And now it's time for the first meal, bowl of oats. So I bought this one by accident, but it's actually really good. It's the unroasted almond milk. Tastes a lot different, man. Gives a cool flavor to it. So I microwave the oats, I add the whey protein and some of these frozen berries. Then I mix them into the warm oats and then I'll put this in the microwave for like 30 more seconds. All right, so I'm here at my physical therapist in Almeida. All right guys, I'm here with Rosita. She has been helping me out for many years now. And right now, like my hamstring has been a little bit injured. It feels a lot better. And she has a special training technique that she's gonna teach me today. Um, please note, she just told me that uh, this has to be done with a professional because otherwise there can be some complications. Yes. Um, so how is this training called? It's called Katsu, also uh, blood restriction training. Uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, stop the blood flow for a little bit so you can uh, train with lighter weights with yeah. uh, the main muscles. Uh. All right, so let's give it a go. It's my first time. You put it as high as possible. Mm -hmm. on the, the tightness from 0 to 10 on, uh, on a 7 or 8. So I gotta say guys, that was very interesting and um, crazy freaking burn, man, crazy pump. So this is a really good way to be able to isolate my hamstring right now, work around my injury with like training with light weights, but by doing the blood restriction, I uh, put a lot of stress onto the muscle and um, it felt really good. So um, but yeah, I'll definitely be implementing this into my training. We also tried it out with some biceps um, and would possibly use this for it to train my calves as well. So um, interesting stuff. Has made me very excited about my upcoming leg workouts. How you doing, bro? Good. Surgery man. went well? Yeah, yeah. No, no complications. Recovering, so that's great, man. Yeah. I am a musician these days. <laughs> He's already laughing before I heard anything. It's just funny to see him <laughs> with the guitar, because I've never seen I know. <laughs> I don't even know how old this is. It's so thing. weird. But this guitar is from Lang, and um, I, I, I got, I like, practicing the first song that I ever did. Now, Beal was able to guess which song it is. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to do it again, and then you guys can comment down below. But like I played the guitar, maybe like this is my fourth time now. So. It almost feels like I'm sat in the desert. <laughs> I know. Oh, now you're giving away a hint. Yeah, mm. I know it. 
So my weight is the same as it was yesterday, and today is Friday, time for a push workout. I'm freaking excited, good way to start the weekend. Let's go. Sun is shining. Cars look fresh today. Oh yeah. Still so happy with this color. It's absolutely epic. Saturday morning, I'm teaching her how to play Call of Duty, and I think she likes it. She's into it. <laughs> it's getting pretty difficult though, but um, yeah, fun way to start the day. It is weekend, and um, I've been doing so much work lately that um, I have also been skipping a lot of weekends, basically, um, and just like being at home, working every day. This stuff gets very repetitive. Um, but making a lot of moves business-wise and there's a lot of cool projects that we're currently working on with my short lifestyle my entrepreneur lifestyle as well I don't think I even announced that we dropped our new website course So if you haven't checked that out and if you're interested in building your own website for online personal training Make sure to check it out the links in the description box down below uh, But There's a lot of more cool shit that we're working on and expanding the team and doing all this cool stuff So um, it's really exciting things, but um, I also I'm forgetting a little bit to take my um, you know leisure time and Taking some time off work, so this weekend uh, definitely gonna do that and um, starting that off with playing some Call of Duty, man. I haven't played on the PlayStation for a long time. Uh, last time I did that was probably when I was ill or something, maybe months ago. Yoga scenes at Stan's place. <laughs> so what is this, Stan? Because I don't think it's yoga. No, mobility, man. Mobility. Stretching. Training six times a week for years. I really do mobility, so... Kiri in the building. Yeah. So guys, I went here to Nijmegen today to see this guy. Yes, finally. Yeah, man, finally. It's been a month. Bro. I've had Corona in between. Been yeah, so I bit, wasn't but... able to visit him. Yeah, it's good to be together. And uh, we just hit a workout. Uh, I didn't film this workout for this channel, but I did for the Dutch YouTube channel. Stan is going to be more active there as well. Um, since he graduated, he became a dietitian. I've told you guys a story before. So now working for My Short Life, so we're doing some cool projects together as well. So a lot of shit is happening behind the scenes, man. A lot of cool yeah, things. Nice. Uh, but Stan will be uploading more as well. So I try uh, to learn Dutch so we can understand. Those yeah, yeah, try, try to learn Dutch, guys. You, you can you can watch Stan the man. <laughs> <laughs> so a link to the Dutch YouTube channel is down here as well. All right, so we're about to head home. Okay. Alright, so my bro is here on the rescue. It is a Sunday and you showed up on his off day to cut my hair because it's well overdue, man. Of course. It's been a while, so a big respect, bro. So good way to start a Sunday with a fresh haircut. Having a little bit of a hangover today as well because we uh, did have some drinks. And these days, old Mariah cannot handle it anymore. <laughs> keep laughing, keep laughing. <laughs> ah, my shredded lifestyle. So as I say, guys, had some alcoholic beverages yesterday. Which means that today I'm not feeling the best. McDonald's is definitely gonna fix me up. I did save calories for this and I'm only gonna have one burger. But this is the real Dutch. MC Crockett? <laughs> oh man. This tastes like I've been cutting for a month. So yeah, legit, this thing is only available in the Netherlands. This is our life now. So I started this mini cut at 2600 calories and now I'm week two and dropping it down with about 150 calories coming from both carbs and from fats. So good news guys, this morning I had a new low weigh in, uh, so that's awesome. Now yesterday, skipped the workout, well, wasn't able to go, um, you know, the second time. The spots were full, so we weren't able to go to the gym. Uh, so I had to skip legs, so today guys, Gonna have to make up for it. Hit a morning leg session and then a push workout later on. Say something for the English video, man. What's up, everyone? 
around your synthetics. <laughs> but today we recorded a video for the Dutch YouTube channel. All right, so that's what's currently going on. That's why I didn't film anything. But guys, so I had two, two sessions today. I showed you the leg workout. Now I did a push workout. I'm fucking done. Ryan had one job to make guacamole. This, was this your is idea. what happens when two bright minds collaborate in the kitchen, right? This yeah. is what happens. This is guacamole. Bro, it looks even worse on camera. <laughs> we decided to put it in the blender, but we forgot that tomato, you're not supposed to blend it in there. Right, good morning. There's something about working out early that just makes you feel badass when it's still dark outside. I haven't done this in a while, but um, I do kind of like it. So it's seven in the morning right now. Woke up at five and I'm gonna hit a fasted pool workout. So let's do it. So this morning I wasn't able to do a physique update because it was still dark outside. So um, the lighting and the place of the physique update, etc., plus the pump, um, I'm gonna look a lot different. But um, I want to show you guys what I look like after my workout as well. Now this morning I had a low weight, so that's great, guys. And um, I think I'm due to have a reefy day, just so a couple of days, probably this weekend. Um, it's gonna be nice because the hunger cravings have been very, very real uh, the last few days. And it's getting kind of like tougher by the day. Not every day is as bad as the other days, but yesterday I was thinking about food all day, every day, right? And um, this morning I woke up super hungry again. So I just had a little bit, little meal, uh, protein pancakes. It is um, 10.30 by now, so I had a little bit earlier because I'm gonna head to Amsterdam right now to record a podcast. So I got a meeting there with Ro and my business partner as well. So let's go. So we are at the first with Jim headquarters. We're gonna do a live podcast here in um, Dutch. Setup is looking pretty cool. Got the boys here. Right, let's do it. You know, shred is real when your throat is becoming a drain for coffee and zero energy drinks. I did hit a new one low weight this morning though. I'm at 87.8 right now, so uh, that's pretty awesome, man. Celebrating it with a white monster. Another day, another podcast. Pretty cool setup here in the living room. Where can they follow you, bro? Uh, they can follow me at Young Ones the Podcast. So Nabil's here by now. As you guys saw earlier in this mini series, I'm back into gaming a little bit and uh, decided to pick up another. You might be wondering why I only have one of these, and that's because it's probably left still in my old apartment in Nijmegen, or I lost it somehow. That's the person I am. So cooking up a meal here, I got red onion and bell pepper. We got shrimp here as protein source, 300 grams. And I'm gonna add the cauliflower rice to this for extra volume, as well as the tomatoes at the end. And then for the sauce, I'm gonna make a red curry together with some light coconut milk. I'm gonna use half of this thing, which is definitely enough sauce. And next to this, some rice as well. Today is Saturday and today is a good day because today it is my reefy day and my only reefy day during this mini cut and we're having a special sort of reefy which you guys will see in one of the next videos but um, I'm very excited for today. I'm gonna enjoy myself, eat plenty of carbs and um, also hit a big workout session. Today is Sunday guys, which means tomorrow marks exactly two weeks of this mini cut. And I can definitely tell that I'm a lot tighter than I was two weeks ago. And um, I think especially after my reefy day yesterday. Now the reefy turned into more almost of a little bit of a cheat day, uh, not in terms of calories, but more in terms of macros. Because normally on a reefy day, I try to have very high carbs, which I did, uh, but my fat intake was also a bit higher than I normally would do during a reefy day. But I had a special reason for a special video, so. It was all worth it. I was doing this pose right here, and like you really tell the obliques and the abs are, you know, really popping. Now my weight was one kg heavier than it was yesterday, so it's about two pounds. Uh, but that is not the only indicator, guys, for losing fat or not. And after a reefy day or chi day, that is most likely to happen. But that, that is water weight that is stored and um, glycogen as well. So that will drop over the coming days. Again, I'm very confident in that because my physique does look better than it did yesterday, in my opinion. Uh, more tight right now. And um, I think water weight also, like the TRT, has an effect on that. So I see more fluctuations than I did back when I was natural. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You have to say the diet is getting tougher by the day. Walking past places like these, this is where they have the Dutch um, Picandale and Coqueta machines where you can take it out of the wall. It's pretty damn cool. But for now, we're not going to be able to enjoy that. So. 
It is getting tougher by the day. We gotta stay strong. Yesterday I didn't film anything because I wasn't really feeling good so I was basically in bed all day, skipped my gym session and then today I was feeling a lot better so I went to Nijmegen, went to work out with Stan, went to visit my parents and um, we did hit a very good workout I gotta say, uh, it was a push workout, felt real good on a decline bench so uh, that was an awesome session with Stan and I hit my macros as I was supposed to so uh, let's see what my weight is at tomorrow morning. So today I went to the gym together with Anthony. We haven't seen each other in a while. Uh, we used to make a lot of videos back in the day. So OGs will definitely remember this face, right? Um, we'll definitely be doing more workouts soon. Um, for my channel as well, we just recorded a video for his Dutch YouTube channel. We are cooking up a nice dinner here. What are we having? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're making a Greek dinner with uh, chicken souvlaki and I'm making tzatziki. Guys, I just got a, my camera back and a new lens. Look at this depth of field. Whoa. <laughs> So yeah guys, this is how my short lifestyle is done. Having a big feast at night, enjoying food while still getting in shape, by saving up the calories, by making smart choices uh, when it comes to food. And um, for example, like making a lot of sauces and things yourself. So you can you know, save on a lot of fat calories from processed foods, right? So be uh, creative with the recipes and big salad bowls help a lot as well. You know, deal with the hunger. Today is Friday and that means that tomorrow is the last day of this mini cut. Tomorrow is day number 20. All right, so this morning in a new low weigh-in, that is awesome. And we just went to the gym to hit legs and also to record a um, promo video for Black Friday because the whole week, I'm not sure when this video is released, but from this date until this date, there was 50% off everything from My Shredded Lifestyle, right? All our items, uh, the wrist wraps, the straps, the knee sleeves, massage gun, the new gym bag, everything. Coaching as well, 50% off the first month. So these are by far the sickest freaking deals of the entire year. We only do this once a year. So make sure to check it out before the items are sold out because we don't do any restocking during this time. Uh, so every day, definitely items will sell out during this time. So links in the description box down below and uh, enjoy Black Friday week. And here in the background, you guys can see that there's a package and this is from Alphalete, all right? I'm gonna shoot these and uh, this is for Black Friday itself, a massive launch, including big discounts as well, guys. So make sure to check it out on Black Friday. So guys, over here, editing paradise is going on. Hey! The grind live. Hey! I'm gonna cook him up some food. Here we got some sweet potato fries. I love these, man. An air fryer, real nice. Then uh, some uh, fake spaghetti, okay? Crochet spaghetti. Italians don't be mad at me. I'm cutting. Here we got onions. And then we're gonna add the sugar snaps and then the courgette spaghetti, plus a bell pepper, and then a bunch of salmon, okay, for the proteins. So look how much volume this adds, man. This is why I like the courgette spaghetti. It's great when cutting. So today's the day, guys. It is Saturday and it's day number 20 of this mini cut. This morning I weighed in at 85.9 kgs, which means I lost a bit over five kilos in a period of 20 weeks. And you gotta realize that some of that is also water and glycogen, right? It's not pure fat that you're gonna lose. So that's why it looks even a bit more extreme when you do a mini cut because it's only for a short period of time compared to a longer cut as far as relative weight loss per week. With that said guys, I'm gonna play a clip right now of day number one up until day number 20 where you can see the visual change every single day. Let's do it.
how do I recommend a mini cut for? It's actually quite simple. Um, if you're in a little lean bulking phase, you're in a caloric surplus, you're trying to put on muscle, or you're eating more calories than you're burning, at some stage you will put on some excess fat and that is okay. But if you feel like you're not comfortable with it anymore, it's getting too much, right? So you're putting on muscle, but also a bit of fat and the fat just gets too much. Then you can do a mini cut to strip off some excess body fat so you can continue going back into that caloric surplus afterwards um, to extend your bulk while staying at a comfortable percentage of body fat that you personally are content with. So this is different for every single person, right? We all have our different ideas about this. Now for me personally, I cut down a bit more than the average person and that is because of professional reasons for photo shoots etc uh, we did actually do a pretty cool photo shoot this morning so i'll show you guys some photos of that as well on the screen my girlfriend made those pictures we did it in the backyard uh, while it was dark in the morning uh like literally 5 30 this morning she made some photos set up with the lights and everything and it was pretty sick so um that was a creative idea photos turn out really well and i think you can see that, that my physique might be different as well in you know the physique update that i did every single day because i wanted to do that like in the same spot every single day with the natural lighting and all that um, so obviously a lot of factors play a part if i get a pump right now i will look a lot different again but for this video i want to show you guys just like the same lighting same angle no pump in the morning before eating anything uh, same physique update so i hope you enjoyed this mini cut vlog i actually have never done a video like this before where i film little parts of my day every single day for a couple of weeks uh, i've never done this before so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think man and uh, i'm thinking about doing something really cool uh, for december and that is doing a vlog every other day and then also doing a giveaway every other day but like big giveaways right so if you guys think that's a cool idea Give this video a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments if I should do that. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out. This complication spin my mind, but I know I gotta keep pushing through. Yeah, I keep doing my own thing. Yeah, never looking back again. I can get it, I can make it, yeah, I know it, and I'm never looking.